Alright, so by Jonathan's request, I am going to make the cameo cake pops in. Let me show you what it is right here. These are the ingredients. We have the cameo cookies, cream sandwich cookies, and I'm going to make it with French vanilla cake, and I'm going to put classic vanilla frosting, home style frosting. We're also going to need the chocolate coating, the, uh, well, this one is vanilla flavored coating. We're going to use the vegetable shortening, this one is a Crisco brand, and of course, we could use either the lollipop sticks. We could use so this. First step is to bake the cake. I got this one right here, really good one. Duncan Hines, French vanilla. And all we're gonna do is to follow the recipe. By Jonathan's request, we are making the cameo cake pops. That's Jonathan right there. And Nappy right there. <laughs> and well, we actually follow the recipe of the cake right here. All right, follow the steps. What we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, so we just gonna drop some in there. I already put in there the milk, the eggs, and the vegetable oil. Everything is in there already. Now we're just gonna go ahead and mix it. All right, so let's see. Let's mix that. All right, this cameo cake. This is French vanilla, and uh, it's gonna have classic vanilla frosting, but also the cake inside. It's going to have some cameo inside. So, and my hands are clean, so. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna crush, we're gonna crush some of that cameo in there. Mm. Some of that cake, you're gonna have surprise inside. So when you eat that cake pop, you're gonna have fine pieces of cameo cookies, all right? So I put three in there, I'm gonna mix it. The rest, I'm gonna save to put with the cake pop. So I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna continue mixing all okay, this. Okay, you're right now looking at the vanilla cake with cameo cookies and, well, it's already baked. I'm actually gonna go ahead and check if it's fully done. So all you do is stick a fork in the middle and if it comes out dry, it's done. And as you can see, all right, so now enough. we just bake the cake. Uh, you see me sweating right now because we were doing a nice killer workout, but now we're gonna continue with the cake here. So all you do right now is just break, smash, destroy. My favorite step, just in case I wash my hands. So. All right, so here we go. We put the cake in there, smash it in pieces. These are the words I have in my head when I'm working out. I'm working out, I'm doing push-ups. All the words, all the words I think is smash, demolish, destroy, smash, break, smack, <laughs> smack. <laughs> Just aggressive words to get me pumping up. You know? I'm getting a little messy here right now. Okay, so we just put the cake in there, and now. We're gonna use the whole entire frosting and just put it in there. We're gonna mix that up. That's all we're doing right now. Put the whole entire mix in there. All right, we use the whole entire can. Not to get to our messy work. All right, you can actually see right here. If we do, let me take the camera out of the way. And just mix that up in there. We're gonna mix it, and it's gonna be, it's gonna look like Play-Doh after it's all mixed. After that is all mixed, we are going to put it in the fridge, or the, or the freezer if you want to, but just to cool it down. You don't wanna freeze this thing right now. All you wanna do is cool it down, so then you can do the cake balls. Shape it into little balls, put the lollipop sticks in, cool it again, and then you dip them in chocolate. That's what you do. So right now all we're doing is mixing this up. See, and now you can see it looks 
like Play-Doh. So it is. The cake's already baked. The cake is still hot right now. So it makes it easier to mix. See? That's all you do right now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this in the freezer for a little bit. We're going to do our second set of workout. And then we're going to come back to finish and go ahead and do the cake pops. Here we go. See? And that's the texture you get. Look, if you take it out, it looks like Play-Doh. Feels like Play-Doh. That's cool, huh? Mm-hmm. And actually, if you're really hungry, you can just eat it like this. And you know what? It tastes really good. Just like this, but to make it better, we are going, patient, and we're going to use pops. We're going to make it into cake pops. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer for just a little bit, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, cool it down, and we will continue with the rest later. All right. Now, after the break. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the vanilla coating. I'm gonna put it in there in the chocolate melter. And I'm gonna put also some of this Crisco vegetable shortening. The, what this does is uh, makes the, the coating softer. It's easier, it, it makes it easier to dip the cake pops in there. We have the vegetable shortening, Crisco brand. Let's put it in there. And let's just wait until that melts. All right, so the cake mix is already cooled down. We have the cake frosting mixed with the cake and some cameo cookies right here. All right, so now we're getting ready to roll them into balls. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Take about this amount and basically just roll it into a ball. That's all you do. If you have experience playing with Play-Doh, well, this is a lot of fun. Just roll them into a little ball, place them in there. Place it. There you go. And basically the size of a golf ball, maybe even a little bit smaller than that. And just we keep going until we so use our entire here yeah, we use our entire cake mix and we made them into little cake balls right now these are the cameo cake balls it came out to 43 all right i'm basically not not that sure but uh, if you count them in the video you can you can see how many they came out and this is only with one box of cake mix all right putting the stick into that cake pop yeah Tastes delicious, and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going and doing the same. If you want to add sprinkles, if you want to decorate them afterwards, you can do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going, dipping all that, and I'm gonna use all the cameos. All right, here we go. Get a 
that's our cameo. Look at that. Cameo cake pop. It looks awesome. Look at that. We, we sprinkle some with white sprinkles and some of them with colorful sprinkles. <laughs> this is going to be really tasty and it looks really cool. It looks yummy. We really are yummy. making a cameo masterpiece. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's not that fancy like Bicarella, but you know, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Look at that. So proud of our masterpiece. So proud. Look at my tears. Look at my tears. Tears of joy. We're so proud of these these masterpieces. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Our cameo cake pot. They're so yummy. They look so good. Yeah, that's gonna taste really good. Wow. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Look at my tears, yeah. <laughs>